Taylor. Don't talk if your name is not Taylor. Taylor, pick me a color. What color do you like?
And so he told the priest, he says, I want you to go in there and I want you to clean it up. Now, here's something that I'll bet every one of you can relate to. How many of you have ever told, have ever had your parents tell you, I'm going to call one person, but I want you to think of your own name. Matthias, clean up your room. That's never happened to you? Oh, I believe it's happened, hasn't it? Evelyn, clean up your room. Now, 
Let me ask you this. Gabby, how old are you? How old are you? Five? Jamie Young, how old are you? Eight? Angel? Do you know how old you are? Nine? How old are you, Jason? Five? Jaden? Seven? Seven? Aaliyah? Ten? Favor? Nine? Grace, how old are you, sweetie? Two? How old are you? Eight? How old are you? Four? How old are you, Matthew? Three? How old are you, Adeline? Five? Hadassah? Twelve? Levi, how old are you, buddy? Are you two? No. Are you three? For two more days. He's going to be three very soon. He's got a birthday coming up. How old is Taylor? Eight? Twelve? Eleven? How old are you? Four? How old are you? Yes, you. Seven? Nine? Ten? You're twins. Yeah, we already know. We already know you're ten, right? How old are you? Seven. Seven. How old are you? Six. Six. Josiah. He's not even in the room here. He's not even in the room. He's six years old. Our Josiah is six years old. Josiah. Josiah became the king. Never too young to serve God. 
At eight years old, Josiah became the king. And he said, I am going to serve God. Even though his dad did not. Even though his dad was a bad man, Josiah decided, I am going to serve God. And he did. And he served God all the days of his life. He was king for over 30 years. Guys, you need to stay in your places. He served God for over 30 years. Even, even as a young boy, he still served God. And every one of you can serve God, even at your own young ages. And it doesn't matter who does it with you. You see, when you stand before God, he isn't going to say, was your brother good? Was your sister good? Was your dad or your mom good? It doesn't matter. What matters is, do you serve God? And Josiah served God at eight years old. Eight years old and Josiah served God. And he went down as one of the best kings that Israel or that Judah ever had. See, you, can get, you got me saying Israel now. He went down as one of the best kings that Judah ever had. Sadly enough, though, he was also the last good king that Judah ever had. Because when Josiah became old enough to have kids, thank you, his son did not serve God. Here's what I want to leave you with, though. Listen up. Class, class. This is what I want to leave you with. You are never too young to serve God. You're never too young. How do you, how do you serve God? If, let me, raise your hand again if you're eight years old or older. If you're eight years old or older, Put your hands up. Put your hands up so I can see them. Now, if you are eight years old or older and you cannot read, put your hand up. I hope all your hands are still up. If you can read, keep your hands up. If you can, if you can read, keep your hands up. I thought you said it. Okay, let me go to raise your hand. All right, hands down. Number one thing is read your Bible. <clears throat> Make it a habit to read your Bible. Are you old enough to read yet? Do you know to read? Not quite. That's, that's why I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking to the ones that are eight years old and older. And I, how old are you? Did you just say you're eight? Nine. Okay, so three. That's why you didn't come up. But listen, 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 guys. Every one of you can read the Bible. I got my first Bible when I was seven years old. I got a Bible for my seventh birthday. You still have it? No, I don't think I have that Bible yet. Long, long time. That was a long time ago. I still got one from when I was in college, though. I'm older than that. Much older. All right, listen, guys, guys, class, class, listen up. How else can you serve God? You can pray. You can pray. And that goes for all of you that are not able to read. You can still pray. How do you pray? It's as easy as talking to Jesus. That's as easy as it is. Get yourself quiet and talk to Jesus. How about another way? You worship God. What were we doing here singing the songs? We were worshiping God. That's a way that we worship God. Every one of you can do that. When you sing songs to God, God is pleased. That's how. You're never too young. All right. We're going to stop right now because I'm sure that Pastor is going to I'm sure that pastor's going to be quitting soon. So here's what I want. I want every one of you to bow your heads and close your eyes. I want everybody to bow your heads and close your eyes. Father, I thank you for the example that we have had of Hezekiah. Even though his father didn't serve you, he chose right away that he was going to serve you, and he served you faithfully all his life. 
And Father, I thank you for the example of King Josiah. Even though he was a young boy, eight years old, he still chose to serve you. And he showed us that we can also serve you even at a young age. Father, I pray for everyone that is here, that you would begin to speak to their hearts, that you would begin to show them how they can serve you, that they, that they would grow a love for you like nothing else they've ever known, and that they would want to please you all the days of their lives. I pray your blessings on every one of the children that are here today. And in all things, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.